simplifying expression using the law of exponents. So bago tayo makapag-simplify ng mga expressions raised into a power, you need to know the law of exponents. Kasi yan yung rule na kailangan yung tandaan para ma makapag-simplify kayo ng expressions na raised into a power. So yung first law will be any number raised to 1 will be the number itself. Kaya yung x raised to 1 is simply x. So kung meron tayong 7 raised to 1, it's simply 7. And then the second law is a number raised to 0. So tandaan nyo lang na every time meron kayong exponent at your exponent nyo is 0, it will equal to 1. Ang common mistake ng mga estudyante is pag nakakita sila ng x raised to 0, akala nila it's equal to 0. Pero ayon sa law, x raised to 0 is simply 1. Kaya kung meron kang 23 raised to 0, it's equal to 1. At kung meron kang 1,582 raised to 0, it's simply equal to 1. Now for number 3, negative exponents. So whenever you have a negative exponent, you can just take the reciprocal of your expression. So kung meron kang x raised to negative 1, it's equal to 1 over x. Similarly, kung meron kang 2 raised to negative 1, pag sinimplify mo yung negative exponent, it's simply 1 half or 1 over 2 to the positive 1. Now, for number 4, yung fourth law natin is yung pag-multiply ng same variable ng different exponents. So, kung meron kang x raised to m times x raised to n, all you have to do is to add the exponents, so you have x raised to m plus n. So, kung yung example natin is x raised to 2 times x raised to 5, add new exponent, it's x raised to 7. Now, Common error ulit. Pag nakakita kayo ng, minsan, pag nakakita si, uh, kayo ng x squared times x to the fifth, usually, multiply nyo yung 2 and 5. So, hindi yun yung law. So, mahalaga na alam nyo yung law at alam mo yung rule na hindi siya multiply kundi i-add siya. Kasi may ibang law or ibang rule ng pag-multiply ng exponents. At dadaan tayo dun mamaya. So, number 5 naman is division ng expression with an exponent. So, kung meron kang x raised to m divided by x raised to n, all you have to do is to subtract m by n. So, kung meron kang x raised to 6 divided by x squared, 6 minus 2 is 4. So, it's x raised to 4. At ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na common error ng mga gumagamit ng law. Kapag ka yung exponent nyo e raised to another exponent, dun ka lang magmumultiply. Kasi ito yung sinasabi ng law na yun. x raised to m raised to n is x raised to m times n. So, dito ka lang magmumultiply ng exponent. So, kung meron ka ngayong x squared raised to the fifth power, it's simply x raised to 10. Kasi 2 times 5 is 10. So, ito yung kaibahan ng 4 and 6. At for number 7 naman, yung exponent mo, kapag nasa labas siya ng parentheses, pwede mo siyang i-distribute sa expression mo sa loob ng parentheses. So, kung yung meron kang x, y, parentheses, raised to n, distribute mo yung n or yung exponent sa x at exponent sa y. So you have x to the n, y to the n. So kung meron kang 5x squared, distribute mo yung exponent 2 sa x, yung exponent 2 sa 5, so meron kang 25x squared. Now, if I point out ko ulit na common error, pag, nakakuha sila ng, pag nakakita sila ng 5x raised to squared inside of parentheses, usually, hindi nila napapansin na kailangan din nilang i-raise uh, yung 5 or yung coefficient sa exponent. So, make sure na alam nyo yung law para hindi kayo magkakamali sa pag-simplify ng mga expressions involving exponents. Now, mag-simplify naman natin itong mga exponential expressions na to. So, for number 1, tulad ng sinabi ko sa law, sa first law or second law, any number or any expression raised to 0 is 1. So, kung meron kang 5x raised to 0, 1 rin lang yung sagot niyan. So, kung meron kang 25xyz raised to 0, it's also equal to 1. And for number 2, we have 2x times x. So, gagamitin natin yung uh, product law ng exponent. So, ang gagawin natin, i-add natin yung exponent ng x. So, 2, copy lang. We know na meron tayong exponent na 1 sa bawat x na to kaya mag a tayo ng 1 plus 1, 2x squared yung sagot. So, ito yung pag-multiply ng uh, variable sa may exponent. At for number 3 naman, m cubed times m, again, madalas malimutan nila 
ng mga bata na uh, merong 1 or exponent na 1 yung mga variable. So, pag nakakita sila ng m cubed times m, usually ang sagot nila is m cubed pa rin. Kasi hindi nila nakikita na merong pang 1 dito. So, always remember, any variable without an exponent has an exponent of 1. So, m cubed times m is simply m raised to 3 plus 1. Once again, wag kayong mag, uh, wag nyong sanayin yung sarili nyo na magkamali dito sa exponent na 1. So, m raised to 4 yung sagot. And for number 4, distributing um, the exponent to your two terms, dito sa coefficient at dun sa variable. So, 2 raised to 3 and x squared raised to 3 using the um, power law. So, 2 cubed is 8 and x raised to 2 times 3 is equal to x to the 6th. Kasi itong second term mo is exponent raised to another exponent. Kaya, multiply mo siya at hindi i-add. So, in 5 and 6 naman, nagmumultiply naman tayo ng separate expressions. So, we have 5xy times 3x squared y cubed. So, dumadami na ngayon yung mga factors nyo. So, meron tayong 5xy, meron tayong 3xy, and to multiply them out, you multiply the coefficient, so yung 5 and 3, multiply mo. Yung x and x, multiply mo rin. Yung y and y, multiply mo rin. At sa law ng exponential function, pag nag-multiply ka ng variable, ina-add mo yung exponent. So, 5 times 3, x raised to 1 plus 2, and y raised to 1 plus 3. So, your simplest form will be 15x cubed y to the fourth. Ang um, halaga dito, para hindi kayo malito, Every time na mag mo multiply kayo ng, ng mga expressions tulad nito, ihiwa-hiwalay nyo yung mga factors o yung mga terms. So, coefficient muna, tapos lahat ng mga x, tapos lahat ng mga y. So, ang key dyan is organization. Kailangan marunong kayong maggrupo-grupo ng mga variables. So, sa number 6, maggrupo-grupo ulit tayo. So, meron tayong 2x squared times 3x to the fourth y cubed. So, igugroup natin yung coefficient, igugroup natin yung x, igugroup natin yung y. So, yung first group natin is 2 times 3 coefficient. So, you just have to multiply them. Yung x naman, using the uh, product law of exponents, i-add mo siya. So, I have x raised to 2 plus 4. At yung y, since yung y nag-iisa lang, kukopyahin ko lang si y. So, you have 2 times 3 which is 6. x raised to 2 plus 4 which is x raised to 6. And y raised to 3 is y cubed. And para mas, mas simplify nyo kung gusto nyo, i-dikit-dikit nyo lang. 6x to the 6y cubed. So, bago tayo pumunta doon sa susunod na example, tandaan nyo na pag magkaiba kayo ng variable, hindi mag apply ang law. So, wag nyo i-add si 6 and 3 kasi magkaiba sila ng variable. Once again, error alert. alert. Ito yung uh, common mistake ng pag-simplify ng exponential expressions. Now, yung mga nakikita nyo ng mga examples ngayon, eh, fractions. So, uh, dun sa law, every time meron kang fractions raised to exponents, so subtract nyo lang yung uh, mga exponential exponents ng numerator and denominator. At yun yung gagawin natin. So, 2 divided by 2, kasi pagka-coefficient, normal division lang or normal multiplication. So, 2 divided by 2 is 1, kaya hindi ko na sinulat yung 1 dito. Pero, ito, alam natin, using the law of exponent, y to the ninth all over y cubed, you subtract 9 and 3, so you have y to the 6th. So that's how you simplify a fraction raised into an exponent. At yung number 8, dalawang law naman yung gagamitin natin. Yung uh, division law at saka yung power law. So, distribute nyo muna yung 3 dun sa numerator and denominator. Kaya meron ako ngayong x raised to 2 times 3 and y raised to 5 times 3. I know that 2 times 3 is 6, kaya meron ako x to the 6th all over y to the 15. Ngayon, alam natin na hindi na natin ito masisimplify kasi magkaiba sila ng variable. So, ito na yung simplest form ng fraction nyo. Kasi, different variable, hindi pwedeng pagsamahin. At sa number 9 naman, yung numerator nyo may x and y, pero yung denominator nyo may y lang. So, yung x nyo, kopya nyo lang, x to the 5th pa rin siya, pero yung y to the 5th and y squared, gagamitan nyo ng law. So, 5 minus 2, kasi division law. So, meron kang x to the 5th times y to the 3rd power, using the law of exponents. 